What's going on YouTube? Demon Ralph here. So an interesting little video I want to do today. I came across some nice information that I wanted to talk about. Now, I'm not trying to jump on the Pokemon Go trend. If I really wanted to, I would have jumped on that a while back. But because it has to do with Nintendo, I kind of want to talk about it. Even though I don't really do Nintendo, this is just some interesting stuff. So the title of the article is Nintendo's Pokemon Go bubble has finally burst. Now, reading that, obviously, my attention was grabbed immediately as I am playing Pokemon Go kind of religiously. I'm level 14. I probably started about a week after the game came out. Uh, I'm really into. I'm very into the game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. You know, I spent some money already. I don't really do mobile games, but you know, this one is the original 151 Pokemon. It's on my phone. It kills time. Whatever. Something I just to do while you know I'm sitting down at work doing paperwork and see what Pokemon are around, or if I'm like just like this Saturday, I was at a huge party and we going back and forth to the store. It was something to do. You know, it's just like something to keep myself busy in between other life events, even though I am playing quite a lot, considering the level I am for when I got the game. But that doesn't matter. So apparently Nintendo shares have plunged as the company has stated last week that the financial impact of Pokemon Go will be limited. It has been confirmed that Nintendo have a stake of 13% in Pokemon Go. And while most of us think Nintendo right away when Pokemon comes to mind, the Pokemon company, as well as Ninatech, Ninatech, however you want to say it, will benefit most from Pokemon Go's overwhelming success. So what that means is Nintendo ain't getting much money from Pokemon Go. And when Nintendo finally revealed that that was happening, their shares have sank 17%, wiping out $6.3 billion in market value. And apparently, the greatest amount a company can fall in Japan is 18% as per exchange movement rules. So they can't drop any lower than 18%. But they dropped 17%. They nearly hit the max of what they could possibly drop in terms of exchange movement rules. So Nintendo lost a ton of money <laughs> and a lot of people pulled out their shares. So while they did make money, their reputation is still, if not worse at this point, because of this. Now, I wanted to bring this to people's attention because, you know, obviously it's Nintendo and I do game news on my channel. And Pokemon Go is something that's pretty popular out there right now. So I feel like why not talk about, you know, Nintendo stake in it when I seen this article. But I want to also talk about mobile gaming, right? Pokemon Go. This game came out, what, two, three weeks ago? According to this article, the game peaked July 14th and has been decreasing ever since. It has stopped increasing. The game has only decreased since July 14th. Now, this game was everything when it first came out, right? That's all you heard people talk about. You saw videos about it. Reputable websites and YouTube channels have started series based on Pokemon Go, IGN, Early Access, a couple of other, you know, major websites. Even Jim Sterling did a couple of videos on it. He did um did a whole Jimquisition based on Pokemon Go, which was all which is a very good video, by the way. Um, but just just talking about that in general, like everybody jumped on this Pokemon Go thing. Everybody downloaded it, everybody played it, people still play it, people made videos, people have strategies, people have all this cool stuff that you can get if you can't have enough just playing the game. It's it's unreal how fast and strong this game took off. And as of July 14th, it has been doing nothing but decreasing. This tells me. And, and prove well, it doesn't tell me because I already know, but this proves that, you know, mobile gaming just isn't, it just doesn't last. And it's just not gaming. It just, it makes so much money. It makes so much money that it's ridiculous how much money these games can make. At record, Pokemon Go is making $1.6 million a day at its best. And now the game is decreasing and the companies are scared because people stopped downloading it. At the end of the article, it says it's interesting, to, it's interesting to see whether frequent updates and adding subsequent waves of Pokemon will continue to raise interest in the game. So, you know, it kind of if they don't continue to add content, if they don't continue to, to, to consistently make this game look like it has a pulse, then the game is going to die. And that's that's mobile gaming, you know, and, and there's no I mean, not all, but there's like no artistic value there's no there's no sense of passion in any of these games they're just bullshit fucking games i play this game when i walk to the store just to get my gatorade or whatever i'm getting i'll play some pokemon go or i'll sit down at work when i have some downtime and i'll play for you know 10 15 minutes at a clip at most 
you know, and and that's not that's not real gaming, you know. Obviously, they're games and you play them, but it just I don't see that as real gaming. That's just me. I just don't see it as you know. It's not something I, I see as a true form of gaming. It's gaming is an escape. Gaming is something that we go to to you know de-stress, decompress, you know, get involved in another character's life in order to to break away from our own. You know, at the core sense, gaming is a piece of art. Gaming is is a a way of life in a way. And these mobile games are just they're just such shit. They're just such shit. And the problem is they make so much money in such short amount of times, this amount of time that they all become cash grabs. Even Pokemon Go, they all become cash grabs. You know, and and Pokemon Go did something good for people. It brought people outside. It got people together. You know, I'm not saying this game itself is the the curse of all. You know, I'm just kind of making an example using Pokemon Go, obviously, because that's the article we're talking about here. But mobile gaming is just this quick cash grab, you know, and and look, Nintendo shares sank because they don't have as much, you know, vested financial interest as people thought. So people pulled out, you know, and that just seems to be the way gaming is going. It's going in this direction and I don't want to see it go that way. But unfortunately, because it makes so much money, it just is. It's just so easy to sit there and spend a dollar and get 20 Pokeballs. When you run out, you know what I mean? It's just it just makes it so easy. And then there's one million other people doing that. <sighs> I don't know. But that's mobile gaming. I kind of wanted to just talk about that real quick. Tell you guys what's going on with their shares. Kind of a random video, actually. I just wanted to bring this up. Just something that I thought was interesting. And I wanted to turn the mic on and talk. This is Demon Ralph signing out.